As for Manatee County, they're focused on getting on the right side of this pandemic as well. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Leah Fernandez learned everyone from the Department of Health to the school district to county government is teaming up to send a very important message. Mask up. Manatee County Superintendent Cynthia Saunders says there's been a lot of talking and efforts made individually, but it hasn't been working. There's more than 8,000 positive COVID cases in the county and 188 deaths. We knew that if we didn't do something collectively, we were going to have a very difficult time sustaining our school opening. Today, we're pledging to join together as government agencies, businesses, medical institutions, and nonprofit organizations to fight together against the COVID-19 spread. They're calling it the Mask Up Manatee Coalition. The only way to protect ourselves and each other from spreading this deadly virus in the absence of a vaccine is to take preventive action. It will mostly be an educational campaign using social media to hit these three points, wearing face coverings in public, practicing social distancing and washing hands properly and often. We have the NBA bubble and fortunately here in Manatee County, we have the WNBA bubble. Um, we cannot have a bubble full time 24 seven at schools. However, we can try to make a community bubble through this type of initiative. Mask Up Manatee is a group, not just of words, but also of action. Last week, the county authorized a purchase of more than 50,000 face masks using CARES Act money. There's one for adults with the coalition's logo and a more playful one for kids. The purpose of the Mask Up Manatee Coalition is to speak with one voice, one clear voice. Now those customized county face masks, they're supposed to come in later on this month. They're going to be handed out in some of Manatee's hardest hit zip codes. The district's also hoping to get students involved in this initiative once school starts as well with social media posts and more.